reviewing Corn on the Corner in Dearborn, Michigan. So before I get started, I do want to say this. As we all know, uh, Southern hospitality is a thing, right? There should be something called michigan -tality. Ever since I've been up here, I cannot speak for the city of Detroit because I haven't been there yet, but I can speak for the surrounding cities. From Dearborn, Madison Heights, Sterling Heights, Hazel Park, Auburn Hills, Nova, y'all have all treated me with so much love, and I just want to say, I appreciate you. michigan -tality may sound corny, but I like it. This is a food truck outside of a gas station. You have a pretty good menu too. Let's see what this is hitting on. We got a cod sandwich. No, I don't make no, I don't make no damn sense. So when I bit into this, the crunch was amazing, but I ain't even, I ain't even talking about that. The way the meat just slid from under the batter and into my mouth, crazy. It also has shaved cabbage, pickles, American cheese, and it says sliced cherry. Oh yeah, it does. Sliced cherry tomatoes and also some Cajun rum Lot. Even if this did not have the Remy Lot, I think this would still be good because the cod is just of great quality. And by the way, the Remy Lot is like a, it's like a balance between sweet and tangy, in my own opinion. These must be the Tahini fries. Oh yeah, that seasoning is unmatched. It gives the fries a, a very sweet citrusy taste. These are hands down the best fries I've ever had. Point blank period. This next dish is a Nashville hot grilled cheese sandwich. Is that what it is? Nashville chicken grilled cheese sandwich. My bad, y'all. Wow. So for one, I've never had uh, a grilled cheese for one. I know that's really hard to believe, y'all. Two, I've never had grilled cheese on a sourdough. This sourdough bread takes things to a whole nother level. You can get the chicken naked, mild, or spicy. I got mine spicy because I want to see what that spicy be like. In my own opinion, I don't even think it has any spice to it. This also has corn on it and some type of some type of Mexican cheese blend. I will say I'm not a grilled cheese connoisseur. If you like grilled cheeses and you want to try something different with Nashville hot chicken, this is probably what you would want to get. The way they present this and made this is just on point. Here we have a smash burger called the Perfect Smash. So I can officially say I've I've crossed over into to Smash Burger land. I ain't eating no regular burgers. I want Smash Burgers from now on. But they smash, I don't want it. I mean, they smash the hell out of these two packs to perfection. Similar to how I be smashing some of my haters' moms. <laughs> gotcha. Nah, I really do be smashing some of y'all's moms, though. Y'all just don't know it. It also has cheese, pickles, and roasted poblano aioli. Let's try that real quick. Yeah, this place ain't missing. We had to grab some corn, y'all. Mm, got it. So it's a lot of corn on here. What they did was they, they sprinkled a lot of Parmesan and also hot Cheetos on this one. The hot Cheetos does make this twerk a little bit. I ain't gonna front, but I really do think this would have been all right with just the Parmesan on this one. But I can tell you one thing, this right here going back to the crib. Last but not least, we had the banana pudding. I haven't had banana pudding in so long. I'm really scared to try this. No. I'm gonna put the address right here. When it comes to food trucks, this is probably one of, if not the best food truck that I've been to. Everything was spectacular. So if you're in a Dearborn area or a surrounding areas, Detroit area, and you've never been to this place, I don't know where I am, but I took a, a view of where I was. It's also outside of this store right here. Come check this place out now.